Hey everyone and welcome back to another in-depth guide of the GTA Online The Contract DLC. Today we are kicking off the vehicle guides with the Buffalo STX. We're going to be discussing and testing its armor, comparing it with some of the other vehicles in its class, and just giving you an overall summary of the vehicle and if it's worth your money. So let's get started. The Buffalo STX is going to set you back $2,150,000 if you do not have the trade price. However, if you do have the trade price, which you unlock by purchasing an agency, it's going to cost you $1.6 million. Of course, the Buffalo is Imani Tech eligible, so you can equip the Hoeing Missile Jammer or the Remote Control Unit. You also have the option to put armor plating on the vehicle, which does increase its explosive resistance. By how much exactly is what I'm about to show you. If you do not equip the armor plating upgrade, the Buffalo STX will go down to just 2 RPGs, 3 homing rockets, and 3 explosive rounds. Once you do equip that armor, however, the Buffalo will now take 4 RPGs, 12 homing missiles, or 10 explosive rounds to blow it up. The armor also works differently depending on if there is a player inside of the vehicle. If no one is in the vehicle driving it, it will take half the amount of explosives, so 2 RPGs, 6 homing missiles, and 5 explosive rounds. Its main weakness though is probably the laser or the hydra just because of the explosive rounds that they fire. If you get caught in the line of fire by that cannon, you'll go down in just a few seconds, so you're gonna have to watch out for that. The car also comes with bullet resistant windows by default, so you don't even need the armor plating for them. And these windows will block 15 automatic gun rounds from an assault rifle, SMG, or LMG, 7 shotgun shots, 15 pistol shots, 5 sniper bullets, and 2 revolver shots before piercing through on the next shot. And if you happen to have FMJ rounds on you, then you only need one bullet of that to pierce through it. The Buffalo in particular has an option to put some louvers on the back window. These do not prevent you from getting shot out of the back window like they do in other cars, however. Some other options on the Buffalo include dual front mounted machine guns and oil slick mines for a secondary weapon. The machine guns have a max range of about 100 meters, although it is a bit hard to test this because they are mounted very low to the ground, so a lot of the time you end up shooting the ground before reaching that max range. The damage is somewhere in between the Night Shark and the Terrador. It's not quite as strong as the Terrador guns, but they do seem to do more damage than the Night Shark guns do. So they're not total pea shooters. The mines are your standard slick mines that have been in the game since Arena War. They do actually help out a lot in vehicle chases on the new missions and in general free mode too. It's practically impossible to give chase to someone who's spamming slick mines behind them. Equipping weapons on the buffalo does come with a drawback because you will not be able to enter pass mode if either the machine guns or the mines are equipped. If you don't purchase them for the buffalo, you then can enter pass mode, so it's a decision you're going to have to make if you want the ability to enter passive or you want some weapon options for the car. The buffalo performs very well in the muscle class. I did a drag test at the airport with the buffalo, the dominator ASP, and the gauntlet hellfire, which are both very good contenders in the muscle class, and this is how it turned out. The reason I like the airport test is because it gives you a little bit of everything. You can see how good a car's acceleration is and also its top speed. The only thing this test can't show is how the vehicle handles, but I gotta say it handles just like a sports car. It handles very nicely. And it actually beats the Dominator ASP just by a little bit in this test. And keep in mind the Buffalo is a four-door vehicle, so you now have a four-door muscle car that can compete with some of the two-door cars performance-wise. For free mode use, that's a huge plus, on top of all the other perks that it already has too. And if you were wondering, yes, you can use the Buffalo STX in official races, even when it is equipped with the weapon upgrade, so you don't have to worry about having one version of the car for racing and one version for free mode use. Overall though, the Buffalo is a must buy in my opinion. The fact that it's one of the best muscle cars performance wise, able to keep up with the cars at the top of the class, while being a four door vehicle and having all the perks like a Monty Tech, machine guns, explosive protection, bullet resistant glass, makes it a very worthwhile purchase for racing and even more so in free mode. Let me know what you guys think about the Buffalo STX in the comments. For me, it's personally my favorite car that we got on day one. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more content. Up next, I'm going to be covering the Dubachi Champion, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.